Hey Libra, what's going on? Welcome back to Surviving with Carrie. Back once again with a tarot card reading here for you. This is going to be for your love life, so we're going to tune into you and your special person's energy to see what's going on between you two, okay? Especially around on Valentine's Day, maybe there's somebody else who's coming up and into your mind from the past. Maybe you want to know what happened or if this person is still thinking about you or something on that. No, we're going to go ahead and bring a lot of clarification through. What I've been noticing is that around Mercury retrograde, we tend to um really bring up the past or you know dwell on our past or in our feelings in some type of way because we have a a fear of letting go but it's like our chance to really let go of those people who we need to let go of in order to move forward so whatever the case is libra we're gonna go ahead and tune into the energy to see what's coming up around for you all right so this is for libra sun moon ascendant and venus we're gonna start off with the romance angels okay and then i'll move my tarot cards out of the way to see what tarot brings you because i'm going to start off with tarot and then i'll follow with oracle cards as well as my little letters of love if i feel like that's going to resonate for you guys and i will clarify with lots of tarot cards though okay so libra sun moon ascendant venus what's so coming up for libra around this time who's um thinking about libra or what's going on with libra's love life is there's someone coming up from their past okay so here we get one card we get a wedding and i keep getting this for you guys okay i feel like it's come out in the past the wedding card here someone may be getting married around this time express your love and so you're deepening in a you're deepening a connection with your special person is what i'm seeing just stay optimistic overall i'm getting really light heart good energy okay let's go ahead and see what tarot brings you i'm gonna go ahead and clarify with my these are my crystal this is my crystal tarot i mean excuse me not my crystal tarot my crystal oracle and this is the work your light oracle so this is going to give us more information on what's going on between you and your person but let's go ahead and see libra what's going on around libra libra sun moon ascendant venus what's coming up around libra all right libra so i feel like some of you may be dealing with a pisces but it doesn't have to be but this is like looking at things from different perspectives you've been doing some introspection maybe some of you are ready to commit or come into a more commit committed relationship okay yeah with the four of cups here it's like you're no longer staying in a you're, you're no longer regretting what has happened in the past. You're ready to move forward. Here with the uh, Five of Pentacles, it's like maybe at one point you were scared that people were going to let you go. Or maybe someone here has walked away from you, but you're over it. You're oh, you. I feel, this is what I'm feeling, you guys. I feel like some of you may be um, still kind of stuck. You, you still may be a little bit stuck um, thinking about someone from your past. This is this can be a fire sign you were dealing with, okay? Um. And this fire sign, I feel like they want to communicate with you. They want to tell you something and they want a new beginning with you. But I feel like things didn't work out with this person. Maybe they came and they came through and they offered you something and you said no. Right? But I do see a new beginning and I feel like you turn this down. You turn this communication down or, or this new start with this fire sign from your past down. This can be a, a Pisces or somebody who maybe has done some introspection. They've maybe um, gone through a spiritual awakening as well. Or they're going through one in the current moment. Let's see what this is about. So yeah, I see like this person wanted wanted to move forward with you. They wanted a new beginning. They wanted to take you away from whatever you were going through. And they wanted to bring peace and clarity into your mind. But I feel like you realize like nobody can give you that. I feel like for some of you, maybe you were offered like marriage with someone you really wanted to get married to for a long time. But then it's like you 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 stood protected in some type of way from this person's energy all right because you have a feeling this person wasn't really being fully honest with you or something like that with this nine of wands it's like almost like conflicting energy it's like you know this person may have been up to something else and so you decided to move away you went from the nine of wands to the six of wands where you took your pride and you rode your white horse away because you know that this person isn't going to give you what you want this is for some of you okay just based on these three cards that i got with the nine of swords though you still think about this person and i feel like you have a hard time energetically disconnecting from them what i'm seeing is that things happened really quickly or something has happened really quickly um for you maybe maybe um 
maybe some offer that came through for you like has happened really fast or some something happened i don't i don't understand what happened fast i will clarify all this up for you though so let's see what's going on with libra okay libra sun moon ascendant venus why is the hanged one here for libra please why is the hanged one here let's see why the hanged man is here so we got two cards clay clarifying this so we get um <laughs> someone really wanted to come in i feel like and they wanted to like make all your wishes come true but you kind of knew that that wasn't going to happen some of you may have been dealing with a virgo all right and this doesn't have to be though because this is someone here who i feel like someone there's an energy here that they wanted their wishes to come true with you or something but now they're just they're just doing they're going through a spiritual awakening and i don't think that this is going very nice for them I feel like they're going through a hard time, <laughs> realistically. Um, yeah, they are definitely, someone here is going through a hard time. Um, with the Ace of Cups here in the reverse, I feel like um, you may have been dealing with someone who is very wealthy. This King of Pentacles is someone who's wealthy, someone who, is, who could offer you a lot materialistically is what I'm hearing. But with love, they were lacking in love. Okay, they were lacking. They there was a lot of stress around this person, or or you were really stressed out when it came to this person. Okay, there was a lot lacking, is what I'm hearing. When it came down to this person, this may be someone who's coming to the forefront to you. Okay, from your past, even though you may be getting married or you may be tying down the knot with somebody. For some of you, this is someone who maybe taught you a big major lesson in your life. And you had to cut the ace of swords is cutting things out, making sure people don't come back. And that's at the heart and center of your reading. And I feel like this is someone who you really had to set the boundaries straight with this person. This may. Uh, so, yeah, you had to know your worth. You you held yourself at a high standard is what I'm seeing, Libra. And you holding yourself at a high standard. I don't feel like this person was very happy about it. But at the end of the day, you did what you had to do. You did what you had to do to make yourself happy. You're focused on your own thing and you're doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying? So with the, we get the queen of wands in reversed and then the king of swords. So some of you may have been dealing with a Leo, a woman Leo, or some of you may have been dealing with this king of swords, Gemini energy, or maybe this is you putting your boundaries, setting your boundaries, acting as this king. All right. You're acting as this king, right? Where you're 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 giving your offer, you're giving your love. You're no longer dealing with petty people because the King of Wands has shown up in in the reversed. Where you're not dealing with this negative energy from these people. The Queen of Wands is someone who can be controlling as well. Maybe this person was manipulative. Um, overall, what I'm getting the Libra is with this King of Swords. It's like you definitely learn how to cut this person out. All right, and you're offering your cup of love or your marriage or you're getting married to someone who's worth your love. Okay, I'm seeing two divine masculines here as well, two men. Okay, whatever the case is, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that you're giving, you're setting your boundaries, you're setting things straight, and you're showing up as this king for a reason, and it's because you're ready to offer your love to someone who's emotionally available. And that's just point blank period, baby. So let's go ahead and see what this Ace of Swords is about. Why is this Ace of Swords here for Libra? So there was something that was left unsaid. I feel like there were secrets or something that was left unsaid here, okay? So not everything was clear with the communication. Not everything was clear, okay? But you stood your ground is what I'm hearing. You stood your ground and you kept doing your thing. You kept doing your thing and you followed your intuition with whatever it is you had to do. You hold, you held yourself at a high standards once again. This nine of pentacles is like the, or so they say, it's like the empress energy, right? Where you're, you're really, you have to work for what you want. And you, maybe you put yourself at a high standards and this person didn't do much work. So they moved away too. You know, they just went their own way, whatever. The emperor, yeah, someone was silent. Someone could have also been manipulative. This could have been someone older than you they moved away they could have moved away from you at one point and um overall i'm getting that you're very beautiful 
you're very beautiful and and not only that you deserve love and sometimes you feel like you don't sometimes you can't express your love and sometimes you're scared to take love and and share love with others that's why you're standing guarded libra however what i'm seeing is that you're not you're you should like you're <laughs> you're not really stuck okay you're not really stuck you can take the love but you feel this way right you feel like you can't accept love sometimes because it's hard for you to get over this person that you dealt with in your past this could have been a leo <laughs> it doesn't have to be it could just be someone that was kind of controlling you know manipulative someone where there was no balance okay someone that had no balance or, or the relationship maybe that you had with this person there was no no balance is what i'm hearing as well this was like a almost like a soul enemy it's like your own worst enemy like was your best friend at the same time <laughs> with the page of pentacles i feel like there's a new beginning for you guys and you guys may be offered something okay i feel like this is commitment this is a higher level of commitment coming through here maybe from a younger um this can be a Taurus energy coming through. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn may be offering you something. Whatever the case is, this person is offering you some, some something stable. All right. Let's go ahead and see what this is about. Oh, for some of you guys, you may have been dealing with this this type of energy. What's this person? All right. Put the energies where they resonate. Um, let's clarify this. Six of Wands for Libra. So for the Six of Wands, I get the Hierophant. So you moved away from people or a connection that was no longer serving you because there was no commitment. There was no commitment, okay? That's what you, That's exactly what you moved away from. You said, uh-uh, no more, not so fast. We're not going to go back to this circle or this cycle if this person came back in. Whatever the case is, I feel like you, you're winning. You're winning. You're okay. You may be dealing with a Gemini now. And this Gemini, I feel like overall is your divine counterpart or this is what you want. You want love. You want true love. You want a soulmate connection. You want something that's divinely guided. You want someone who maybe believes in the same kind of um, God that you do or whatever it is. This is spiritual, right? This is something beautiful and divinely guided, Libra. And I feel like that's what you're moving into. And it may be what you're a little bit worried about now, right? Because you feel like you can't accept love because of your past or what happened in your past, but I feel like overall, you have the opportunity to come out and get over this situation that you've been through, okay, this bad situation with someone who cheated on you, this bad situation where someone gave you all this negative energy and too, too many fucking burdens is what I'm hearing, this, this person you dealt with was just way too fucking much, too much pride with this person, way too much pride, and, and this is something that you need to work on moving away from Libra, because ultimately, um, this person that cheated on you, couldn't offer you enough all right and there's no reason in dwelling in this all right so i love the energy i love that you're moving forward and in that you know i feel like some of you are deepening a connection with somebody else and you guys are really happy and you're learning how to accept love and, and you're learning how to express love if it's something that you're not doing just yet like getting married and stuff like that libra i feel like pretty soon there's gonna be something here for you okay but you gotta get rid of this old energy and that's what Mercury Retrograde is here to do. Mercury Retrograde is here to, you know, help you level up. Help you know your worth. Get over your stress and your pain. And, and you've been searching for answers. And I feel like clarity is coming to you. That's at the heart of your reading. Clarity is coming to you. And it's going to be here soon, Libra. You just got to trust. You got to trust what's going on. So let's go ahead and see what's coming up for Libra. Right off the bat, we get the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Abundance for the work you've been doing, okay? Planning, you're planning. Some of you are planning um, for a better future, okay? What's coming up for Libra? The Queen of Wands, okay. So we get this Queen of Wands once again here, okay? <laughs> I don't, I'm, now I'm just like, okay. You may have in some somebody else who's helping you out, okay? Who's helping you move away from the situation. This may be a Queen of Wands. Just so you, to let you know, Libra, I am a leo okay just to let you know but i don't think that matters but that may be any this can be anybody for some of you all right but let's go ahead and see this can be just your partner the one who maybe you're getting married to you know very beautiful very sweet loving caring you're moving into a better space and time that's your energy libra okay you're letting go of the fears the illusions you're seeing things for what they are you're taking off the blindfold. You're no longer um, blinded by people 
especially people who are manipulative. Let's go ahead and see what your oracle says. So can I get an oracle for Libra, please? Oracle for Libra. Too many cards, but I'm going to take those. We get just say yes. So if somebody is offering you something, if somebody is offering you, maybe this is the same person that you have a hard time getting over. It can definitely be you're starting a new cycle with them. Um, at the end of the day, your intuition knows what's best, okay? Just say yes is what you're getting. And then you also get don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? I feel like some of you really go by what society's means are. So it's like spirit is telling you like, hey, step out of that box. I feel like you have so much more to you. Quit trying to fit into where people no longer need you in. You know, like you no longer need to be in this box. You've outgrown it. So step out of that situation. And that's the vibe I'm getting for some of you. Let's go ahead and get a, a crystal card here. An angel crystal card for a Libra. So I'm going to take this one. We get Dolomite. Okay. So this is this talks about um you being firm with your faith. Okay? The results you expect depends on the act attitude and mental positive or positive mindset that you keep. All right? So that's what that card talks about. So whatever you you can create the reality you want, you guys. I don't know how much you guys know about a law of attraction, but this is something that you guys can use to your advantage, okay? With the um just stay stay firm with your faith. I feel like some of you can be very much connected to God or stay faithful in some type of way where it's it'll guide you in the right direction, okay? You're moving into a, a much better state of mind. A much better state of mind, okay? If you're if you've been in this energy where people have lied to you and stuff like that, you're gonna find your center, your truth, your peace. You're gonna stand in your power and you're gonna move forward. So let's go ahead and see what Libra and their special person or whoever they were thinking about this retrograde, okay, or whoever keeps coming up in their cards. Um, let's see. Let's see if there's any messages that come through. So promises, okay. Wow. So there's promises being made maybe by this person or by somebody new. I feel like some of you, <clears throat> excuse me, are deepening at a connection with somebody. All right. Mac Miller and Ariana. So this is a, a lot of chemistry with you and this person. This could have been a person from the past as well. Um, we get go with you, travel, fly. Some of you may be planning to travel or go away, move away. You're moving away somewhere. Maybe some of you guys want to travel together overseas. Like I'm hearing Rome or Italy or something like that. Um, the boat reminded me of that. So let's go ahead and see. Drip different. So you're seeing things from a different perspective is what I'm hearing as well. You're moving away into a space and time where you're more at peace. That's just point blank period. I'm going to pull one more. Dancing with your ghost. Okay, so this is the energy some of you guys are in where you can't let go of someone from your past. It's kind of like they keep coming, coming back up and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I hear for some of you as well soul family i feel like you have a sister or someone you could communicate with um or someone from like the same kind of mindset that you can reach out to you don't have to go through this alone excuse me oh excuse me so um libra for some of you guys this may be a brother or a sister whatever um the point is is that you have people you can reach out to to help you get through whatever it is you're going through that is all i have for you libra thank you so much for tuning in i will see you guys in your next reading okay bye bye